sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we were all set and ready to do the dogfight of the F16i Sufa versus a normal F16. And then suddenly this beast was released on the ED forum. A mod for the F15S NTB and I thought we've got to do something with this. Now every now and then you discover something about aviation that just sets your hair on the back of your neck standing up and that's what I've got here which is why I've said we've got to do something with this. Now, I briefly remember this image from my childhood in the 80s and that's really all I remember from it and since I've got into aviation again in my 30s and, and I'm now 40 I haven't looked into this and I don't actually know what this aircraft was and so I'm rediscovering it as we speak so before we go on to the dogfight let's have a little bit of history guys just jumping into Wikipedia quickly we've got here the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Stoll MTB and it's so much more interesting than I'd ever imagined the F-15 Stoll MTB short takeoff and landing maneuver technology demonstrator is a modified F-15 Eagle developed as technology demonstrator. The aircraft carried out research for studying the effects of thrust vectoring and enhanced maneuverability. The aircraft used for the project was a pre-production TF F-15A F-15B, the first 2C F-15 built out of two prototypes. The sixth F-15 off the assembly line. So this was one of the very first that came out, Simba and was the oldest F-15 flying up to its retirement. It was also used as the avionics test bed for the F-15E Strike Eagle program. So this thing was used by different elements in the US to test different things. This actual plane has done all this history and all these things, or a lot of these things that it tested have gone in to future aircraft as we'll look at later on. A bit more detail. In 75, Langley Research Center began to conduct sponsored programs studying two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, government and industry studies on non-axis symmetric two-dimensional nozzles in the early 70s. This is before I was born. I'm quite old. And this is at least half a decade before I was even born. They were testing thrust vectoring. I mean, how crazy is that? Had identified significant payoffs for thrust vectoring 2D nozzle concepts. In 77, Langley started a system integration study of thrust vectoring, thrust reversing, and 2D nozzles of the F-15 with MD. In 84, the Flight Dynamics Laboratory and the Air Force Aeronautic Systems Divisions awarded the contract to MD for an advanced development short takeoff and landing MTD experimental aircraft. The aircraft used in the program has flown several times since the successful program completed in 1991 that used thrust vectoring and canard foreplanes to improve low speed performance. The aircraft tested high tech methods of operating from a short runway. The F-15 was part of an effort to improve ABO air base operability, the survival of warplanes and fighting capability at airfields under attack. The F-15 Stahl MTB tested ways to land and take off from wet bomb damage runways. The aircraft used a combination of reversible engine thrust jet nozzles that could be deflected by 20 degrees and canard foreplanes. Pitch vectoring reversing nozzles and canard four planes were fitted to the F-15 in 1988. NASA acquired the plane in 93 and replaced the engines with Pratt & Whitney F-100-229 engines with pitch and yaw. Wow, amazing. In 93 vectoring nozzles the canard four planes were derived from the F-18 stabilators. Ha! Huh. Prior to August 15, 1991, when MD ended its program after accomplishing their first objectives, the aircraft achieved some impressive performance results, demonstrated vector takeoffs with rotational speeds as low as 42 miles an hour. What? I guess it's only rotating at that point, but still, that is getting, you know, lift under the wings at 42 miles an hour. A 20% reduction in takeoff roll, I'm guessing that means distance covered, landing with the reverse vectored nozzles, 1600 feet of runway compared to 7500 for the standard F-15. So reduction of hundreds of percent. Thrust reversal in flight to produce rapid deacceleration. As far as I'm aware, nothing ever did that in the world, apart from maybe this aircraft and maybe other test aircraft. 
which is amazing. Basically, everything is just amazing about this. Further modifications during the 90s, the same F-15 airframe was further modified. Canals and nozzles were retained for the active advanced control technology for integrated vehicles program in which pitch your balance beam nozzles oh, and advanced control logic programming were investigated. In the active configuration, it was also used for the Lancet's lift and nozzle change effect on tail shock program, in which computed supersonic shockwave parameters were compared to those measured in flights. The Lancet's flight test ended in 2008. The F-15 active lasted from 93 to 99. The aircraft would later be used in the F-15 IFCS Intelligent Flight Control Program System in 1990 2008. The plane was also used for the space-based range demonstration and certification project under the Exploration Communications and Navigation Systems Program from 2006-2007, High Stability Engine Control, HISTEC program and high speed research acoustics in 97. There is nothing about any of that that isn't amazing and needs delving into more and finding someone to talk about. I'm sure there are videos, but we've got one here. Wow, that is low res. I mean, the video was taken in the 90s and then converted to digital. That's it at the Air Force. But oh, that's it with traditional nozzles. At some point, at some point it had traditional nozzles. That's sideways flexing nozzles. No, sorry, that's vertical. That's vertical nozzles. So those are the later. So remember, it talked about two D. The mm -hmm. version that we're going to fly has mm -hmm. the two D, right. whereas it didn't have the the full multi directional. Mm -hmm. uh, that came later. That's that later version that you were reading about. Roger. Look at those nozzles. The modifications are aimed at enabling the F-15 to use shorter runways. There's your really quick aileron roll. Yeah, there's the quick aileron roll. We're starting on card 7. Here comes one aggressive one. Here's the A-370 base, you have 18, about 4 miles due south here, 2-1-0 north. Give your plane to start at 3-2-3. 3-4-5. Stay off to the right. Look at that. So the four, the canards are actually F-18 stabilators. I mean, how cool is that, man? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to chuck some massive stabilators. Look how powerful the motors are that must drive those things. Absolutely crazy. And look at the deflection they've got. They must produce so much aircraft control. Yeah, these are all the things that came out of the Dryden uh, research facility. And if you ever just go look up things that Dryden did... It's just a plethora of really amazing aircraft technology. We will do. You told me there was a thrust vectored F-16, which I didn't know as well. In fact, the video I have of that shows it flying stable at 80, roughly 80 degrees wow. AOA. We'll, uh, we will, yeah, we'll look at that at some point. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. I hope you find that as interesting as me, Valued Viewers. Like I said, I knew it existed, but I had no idea it had thrust vectoring and all stuff like that. Various pictures. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, I think that's a real picture. Either way, that is almost unbelievably cool. Is that not the best looking aircraft you've ever seen? Look at that. That's one without canards. That's one with the, well, I'm guessing that's the traditional engines, non-thrust vectored. I don't know. But basically everything is just cool about this. No, look. No, these are the three-dimensional thrust vectored engines. Because look, it's, see, I thought the Russians were the only people to do this. You know, the SU-35, I think, can come with thrust vectored technology with Oveagle multi-angle. I never even knew that the uh, Americans had an F-15 flying with 3D vectored nozzles which is absolutely now imagine amazing. what happens when you put a three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzle in something like an f-16 super lightweight that has it yep roger sorry about that valid viewers but um when you see something like that and you don't know about it you've just got to go on and on about it so of course what's the first thing we do we make it fight stuff we had to decide what we were going to make it fight against which is a difficult decision it has to be another mod with an sfm because we refuse to fight sfm against the realistic flight models because it just really devalues the realistic flight models it makes them almost kind of pointless so we thought okay what about a j15 or something like that and then we thought well hang on this tech that that's in this F-15 SMTB. What's it actually gone on to? What's its sun, if you like, that it's given birth to? Well, surely it's the Raptor. Surely loads of stuff, not just the thrust vectoring nozzles, but various avionics in this have gone into producing in the 80s, in the 90s, the Raptor. Let's make these two fight. 
and see what happens. Let's go over the basic statistics as we have them in DCS at least. The Raptor we'll be using is an unedited version of Grinelli's Mark II Raptor. It's an SFM, a standard flight model. The weight is 43,000 pounds empty or 52,500 pounds with 50% gas as we'll be using today with the static sea level claim thrust of 70,000 pounds, giving it an amazing power to weight ratio of 1.34. And bearing in mind that's a fully capable fighter radar and whatnot. Air to air weapon stations are eight. Does it have high off ball sight missiles? Yes, it has the AIM 9X, a very capable hop. Does it have a HMD real life? No, in game, no. Does it have any special abilities like thrust vectoring in the game? No, it doesn't. There are many reasons for that, but you just have to take my word for it. The F-15S MTB, made by Subaru 1572, lure date August 2021 version, unedited. SFM, obviously. Uh, it has a weight of £35,000 empty, £42,000 as used, 50% gas, and presumably it's a lot lighter than uh, active F-15. Presumably it didn't have a radar and stuff like that, or I, I don't know, I'm just I'm guessing here. Static sea level thrust, much less than the Raptor. The engines just weren't as good in the 80s and 90s, but it still were very respectable, £58,000 with the 229 engine giving it power to weight ratio of 1.38, actually more than the Raptor that we're going to be using, if you can believe that. Air to air weapon station 6. Does it have hobs? Yeah, it's, it's a bit controversial here, Valley Viewers. It has the AIM-9X in DCS. We're pretty sure it didn't in real life because it was, I think, retired before the AIM-9X, but I may be wrong. Maybe a later version trialed the AIM-9X. So it has it in game, so we're going to use it. HMD, no. And in real life, I think no. Special, no. We don't think it has thrust vectoring, the actual physics of thrust vectoring in, in the game. We've had a bit of a play with it, and we're pretty sure it doesn't. You can sort of bodge SFM flight modules a bit to make them a bit thrust vectory, but it doesn't really work very well. J20 Bravo is an example of that. It sort of thrust vectors a bit, but it's not really, it's not proper. Uh, you'd need an EFM, an external flight model, to get that working properly. So, prediction Simba. They are kinematically almost identical. Weapons are identical. Hobbs are identical. Specials are identical. They're basically identical, almost. But they will fly differently. Your prediction? My heart wants to go with the uh, the old faithful F-15, but, I mean, I think that I got to go with Grinelli's 22. Roger, I like these equally. They're both, like, a couple of the coolest planes ever made. Uh, you know, this one's just a huge, stonking, killing machine. Big, heavy, moves the earth with power. If you've ever been to an air show to see this, like I have a couple of times even if you don't like it you will like it by the end of the air show guaranteed and this is just like if you gave a three-year-old or a five-year-old a crayon and said draw the coolest plane ever you would come up with that it's as simple as that it's amazing so i hope they both win but uh stand by okay valued viewers before we fight let's just have a fly because i just really want to show off this i know it's only a mod but so you've got your f-18 stabilators there look at them do their thing Look at the deflection they have, it's so cool. And watch the roll rate. Look at that, that's more than an F-15, there's no doubt about it. And now if we go and look at the uh, nozzles, look at those nozzles. Coolest thing in the world, question mark. I mean, it reminds me of like a Transformer, Optimus Prime. I got myself in an irrecoverable, unrecoverable. No, I haven't. There we go. Look at that, Valley viewers. <laughs> Very good. Anyway, sorry about that. I just had to show you. Uh, I had to show it off. Uh, right, you ready to fight, Simba? Today we'll be fighting at 7,000 feet, which is an enough for us to do a vertical split S fight if we need to. We're above 1940s Dunkirk. Simba, the usual five matches each to keep everything even. Three, two, one, go. I've been doing my G pumps, valued viewers. I've been doing my G pumps. Shoot, shoot. Merge. God, this is good. Ah, ah. 
<laughs> There's no chance. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God likes me today, valued viewers. Oh, it's so fast. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Shoot. Oh. Shoot. Oh, Simba effed up. Fight sword, Simba. Oh, it hasn't got a cannon! It hasn't got a cannon! It hasn't got a cannon! <laughs> I give up, I give up, I give up. I've used my missiles and I don't have a cannon. How does it not have a cannon? Why didn't they have a cannon in it? No, it... It was a test plane. It doesn't have a cannon. Ah, I've got to use my missiles. Right, how interesting. It was so... Uh, you can shoot me down if you like. It was so... It had so much pitch authority. I know it's only a mod, blah, blah, blah. But it had so much pitch authority, even at relatively low speed, that I just blacked out immediately. And I was just doing loops while I was blacked out. And you couldn't find me for whatever reason. Anyway, it's crazy. Right, I'm resetting Simba because I'm going to be here all day. Welcome back, valid viewers. Um, so, that was ridiculous. It turns out, F-15 MTB. Amazing plane. Terrible warplane. I've now got my stats bar at the bottom, so you can see how ridiculously powerful this thing is. I've also, or well, the boys have noticed, why it's got no gun. Because the canards are where the gun used to be. So, um, yeah, that'll be a thing. Also, it does not have an AR refueling door anymore either. See, where the AAR door was, look, the actuators for those massive canard slash stabilators are there. Can I say wow any more times? I can't help it. It's just such an amazing plane. Someone needs to do the thrust vector F-16 now. We can go and have a look at that as well. Off we go round two. Let's see if we can learn from our mistakes. Probably not. Watch me pull 25G now. Off we go again. Right, it's a bit like the SU-57 Valley Viewers. It's so powerful, I have to be careful not to kill myself. Shoot. Shoot. Missile 12 o'clock high. One missile down, two missiles dodged. I think he's going to stack his face in the ground there. Look at the authority I've got. Shoot, shoot. Ah, oh, it's a dumb missile. Oh, I got him! I got him! Yeah, Simba won one. I didn't even, I didn't see you. I lost sight. Oh, you still going? Let's make sure he's dead. <laughs> my machine gun. Oh! <laughs> no you don't Simba. No you don't. Yeah you're dead. Right, you that one. Yeah baby. Dogfight, dogfight, dogfight. Amazing fight. Right. Great fun. Uh, reset. I'm definitely more maneuverable than you Simba. Remember valued viewers the thrust vectoring isn't modelled in either of these we're pretty sure but what I do have is more pitch you know, I've got these big, heavy, great canards here, and it's definitely helping me. You watch how quick I get over compared to Simba. I'm going to go to the other side this time, Valley Viewers. Got to keep him guessing, keep him on his toes. Ah, oh, I'm my own worst enemy. It's. Shoot. Shoot. Yes! Fair and square, Simba. Fair and square. Suck a lemon. Remember, valued viewers, don't worry about bias because we will change round at five matches, uh, so everything will be even stevens after that. Roger, guys. Yeah, I start blacking out at low low 8Gs, basically. And at full 9G, I essentially black out. Really. So for me, it's all about limiting the plane. It's so powerful, so fast, it turns so well. I have to limit it because I'm the weak factor here, valued viewers. I'm the one that blacks out. Go. Oh, I'm already on... Shoot. Shoot. Missile 12 o'clock high. Oh, you... Gotcha. ML Cheater, I swear. I'm, I'm still going. I'm still going. Failure. Hydraulics failure. Sort of. I'm fighting on, Simba. I'm fighting on. ECM. Oh, I immediately regret this decision, valued viewers. MLWS failure. ECM Missed. Failure. <laughs> Hydraulic failure. Let's get the heck out of here while we can. Missed! Ha 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 Hydraulic failure. M Come get some. Failure. E -C -M failure. Now, the question is, in the early excitement, I didn't see how many missiles he fired. 
How many did he fire, Valley viewers? LWS failure. ECM failure. Hydraulic failure. I got the power to weight ratio on him. I reckon I can get round on him. WS failure. ECM failure. Hydraulic failure. MLWS failure. ECM failure. Hydraulic failure. MLWS failure. ECM failure. I know, love. Failure. MLWS Look at me drop on him here, Valley viewers. ECM failure. Hydraulic failure. MLW too fast. Failure. ECM failure. Hydraulic failure. Oh, I need a helmet mount display here, man. He can't really keep with me kinematically. I'm just kinematically so good here. Hydraulic failure. I'm going to stand it on his tail here. He can't quite get his nose on me, look, valued viewers. to keep going around in circles until he runs out of fuel we are so fast so fast so we can put him off some, with some flares just can't get his nose on his look he's always shooting behind us <laughs> Simba you can't turn like me baby nope I'm out of bullets yeah alright I'll give it to you because I did run out or do you want to put it as a draw uh, I, I, I was hitting you were you? Oh, yeah. I didn't notice. I don't, I'm not sure if you have a damage model. Or should we uh, quickly uh, reset and see if I've got a damage model? Missiles? No. Right, two missiles. Boom. One hit you. Why are those missing? All right, come and hit with the gun. I think. I yep, think. No, it, it hits you. Yeah, it I just guess. It says you're damaged. It's, I think it probably thinks I'm dead. I don't think there's any damage model. Come and gun me. That's an order. Oh, it does go down, look. I don't know what to think about yep. that, Simba, because I soaked up a missile uh, and with no damage, and then you gun me and my wing fell off. So, I don't know what to say about that. How, how do we move forward? Uh, let's just move forward. All right, well, we'll we both run out of ammo, so I guess we'll put that as a draw. I'm not looking to, forward to being in a Raptor, being outmaneuvered, and having to put 20 missiles to kill you. Keep him guessing, Valley viewers. Keep him guessing. Yeah! <laughs> Turns like an absolute beaut. Right, Valley viewers, are you dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, we're gonna do swapsy swoopsy. Remember, you don't get cannons, so you've gotta go all out on the hob. Uh, stand by. Okay, good news is I'm in a Raptor and I've now got a gun. The bad news is I need like three missile hits to kill him. Master arm on, FCS override on. Okay, Mr. Simba Wimba. Let's win this for the Raptor. Oh, sugar, I forgot to put the wind down, never mind. Too fast. Shoot. Shoot. Go. God, that thing looks good. I almost don't want to shoot it. Shoot. Shoot. It's on. Oh, look at that. Look at that yaw you've got. I can't turn in that. Oh, maybe I can. Wow. Shoot. Raptor's actually pretty good. Shoot. Missile 12 o'clock high. I got a gun and you haven't, and there's no more missiles left. Ah ha 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 ha. Right. Got to get behind him, valued viewers. Got to plan this. So look, watch, watch how I'm going to displace myself. Oh, okay. Didn't see that coming. Okay, I can still do it. Off the speed, off the power. And now I've placed myself right behind him by doing that, by getting nice and slow and getting on his rear axis or his rear area. Now I'm going into the lag. Just chill. Check speed, speed's good. Nice and slow, I'm making him do all the work here. And I'm gonna slowly work my way onto his six. He's got that really nasty yaw thing that he can do there, which I can't do. Oh, now I've got too slow and I've stalled it, brilliant. Okay, at some point I'm gonna make the decision to exit the fight because I got too slow and that was my fault. I'm an idiot. Now, good thing is, he hasn't got a gun. There's not a lot he can do.
The bad news is he's got a bit more power than me. It's okay. Oh crap! Oh crap! I did not know that was a thing. Well, you survived it. Yes, I did! <laughs> that is you! Well, you've got to carry on, Simba. Got to carry on. That's the rules of the game. And you know I don't make the rules. Let's do it. Now, you can definitely maneuver better than me. I just can't win these maneuver fights. Is that what you mean now? It just doesn't die, does it? <laughs> Well, you die, Simba. Hit you like 30 times. He's in the drink. He's in the drink. Oh, that was an ugly fight. That was not a textbook fight. But it's one to the Raptor. And by hook or by crook, we're going to win this back for the Raptor. Right, so... Jesus, look at that thing turn. Look at that thing turn. Fucking pick him up, 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 pick him up. You stupid thing. Missile 12 o'clock high. Shoot. Shoot. Missile 12 o'clock high. Oh, you got me. Oh, that's so annoying. Damn it. Left engine fire. I had two X's on you as well. I'm still going. No, I'm not. I'm dead. Are you hit? Oh, what is it? I lose. I'm fine. Damn it. I really should have won that, guys. I don't know why that. I don't know why they didn't win. Got to find in which regime is the Raptor better, or how do I force a gunfight? Roger. How do I use the sun? Oh, you're behind the sun. That's why. Shoot. You rotten man, Simba. Shut up, you worst. No, you don't shut up at all. All right, I need to somehow not present you against the sun. If I get high enough, I can shoot down on you. There we go. That's better. And they both went for the sun. Brilliant. Well, that's not annoying at all. That's the solution. That's the solution if ever I've seen one, Valley viewers. Come on. Come on! Come on, Raptor. Come on, Raptor. He's so wiggly and squirmy. I can't get him. Come here, Simba. All right, I've already got him on the ropes, and he's probably wounded. For some reason, that's really hard to power against. Come here. Ah, oh, damn it. I threw in the towel, I'm out of ammo. That was some pretty shit shooting by me, but it was good jinking by you. Ah, how do I win this? Shoot, shoot. Get him away from the sun, get him away from the sun. Shoot, shoot. Get him nice and slow. Missile 12 o'clock high. Ah, you, oh, I hate you so much. Are you dead? Let's see what happens to your plane. I can fly it. Oh, that means you hit me. I can fly it. Let me see you fly it then. 
Doesn't look very in control to me, Simba. Yep, I'm flat spinning. Draw. Boom! Draw! Okay. Away from that sun. Get him away from that sun. There we go. Nice cold sky, Simba. Lovely cold sky. Shoot. Shoot. Missile 12 o'clock high. Ah, uh, oh. Left engine God fire. Damn it. I'm out. Left you never fire. Ah, oh, that's so hard, man. Radar failure. Well. ACS failure. I tried, Valley Viewers. That's as hard as I can do it. I, uh. Well, we give you the download links in the video description if you want to go and try it yourself. I'm pretty sure you're going to find the same as what we found. Let's do the final scores. When I was in the F-15, it won three, and the Raptor won one, and a draw. When it was the other way around, it was exactly the same. How about that, Simba? Uh, when it was the other way around, Simba won three, and a draw, and I won one. So, regardless of which pilot was driving which plane, the outcome was exactly the same, even in the same order. That's almost... You know, the chances of that happening are like one in thousands. That is really quite amazing. Anyway, at the end of that, there's no denying it, valued Americans. It is six to two. It is three times as good as the Raptor in a dogfight, even if it doesn't have a gun, which is an amazing, really. The reasons are simply that it is more maneuverable. I can just, I can tell you that right now. Neither of them have thrust vector model per se, but it is more maneuverable. It's lighter. It's more powerful in terms of thrust to weight. And its engines, I think, are modelled a lot colder than the Raptors as well because missile strikes were so few. And it's got a bigger damage model which takes more missiles to kill it. Simple as that. It makes it a much better fighter. Any debrief from you, Simba? Nope. Fun time. Good fights.